Cooking with Amanda Shires. That was uh, track three off the new CD, West Cross Timbers. I kept watch like doves. What you call the murder ballad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just, uh, um, to, two words. Yeah, it's easier to doves. say that. <laughs> that is so yeah. cool. I mean, oh, is that a true story? What's the deal behind that story? Yes. Yeah, so, well, it's a family story, I guess. And then I put it together with some other stories I'd heard to make a one big grand story. Nice. Now, are most of your songs... Fact and fiction blended together, or? right? Sometimes um, I just get a like um like I make up something in mm -hmm. my brain. So <laughs> and other times are just already already happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh really? So whichever, either way. Nice. Yeah, that's true. Interesting. That's true. So you mentioned earlier that you did have a new song. How do you find time to write songs when you're constantly touring and on the road and stuck in a vehicle? And I'm one of the people that doesn't have a problem writing on the road. Really? Yeah. What comes first, the lyrics or the melody? Oh, uh, either. Really? Just depends. Like sometimes, like when I was riding my my friend's bike yesterday, um, I had a melody come into my head. So then I was like, I know the perfect story that I'm gonna put with this. So then I was gonna start trying to figure out how the placement goes, like a puzzle, you know. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what kind of sign you can come up with riding a bike in the heat and humidity of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> a scary one. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> nice. Now is is that like? Your, your kind of your mantra, kind of like a dark, deep, kind of tongue-in-cheek, dark humor music um, <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> I guess so. Well, I mean, I'd like them to be true, yeah. you know, so I try to say the truest thing. Even some people, like, don't exactly say what they're thinking. I like to help them be the voice for that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was gonna say, Is what that kind what of? I do, Rod? I think you, uh, I don't know, it's deceiving, you know. Uh, I think I've seen uh, people have funny responses to Amanda because she's very uh, she's lovely and she you know sort of dresses nice on stage and everything so some, sometimes people sort of think oh it's you know it's another girl singer yeah. she, so she sounds good but you can sort of see them start to respond to the lyrics as they go by she's uh, she's very very bright yeah. and, the, and the lyrics are uh, kind of dense you know they yeah. sort of reveal themselves over time so well what I like yeah. yeah what I like about Amanda she's edgy you know what I mean mm -hmm. I like that in Americana music you don't have enough edge in this format yeah. I love that you know yep. you know 
know, I, I'm big on protest songs and stuff like that, you know, so I, when I listen to you, it's like, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> no doubt. So what's the future looking like for Amanda Shires? Where do you go from here? Um, we're playing Florida, then we're going to be down there in Nashville with you, with yeah. the Americana Music Association. Um, nice. Whatever it is. What is it? Festival? The Americana Music Conference. Conference. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Conference. That's right. And um, then after that, I'm going to tour with the Store Cowboys for two weeks. Wow. Opening shows and joining them, you know, in our old old form. Oh, that's why I didn't even know you guys were still together. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Um, well, as together as we can be, you know, yeah. and um, you know, doing separate things and then come together. Well, do you like make albums with them still, or? Well, we haven't made one, but there's um, there's plans I heard to record. Wow. In the winter, so that's see amazing. how it goes. Yeah. Hmm, that, that's got wow. <laughs> so you're touring with Thrift Store Cowboys. You're doing the solo. Well, I don't tour with them a whole lot. Yeah. yeah but um, they're doing a two-week tour where we purposely were like, okay, I'm going to go on tour with them, and we're going to do some old stuff and some new stuff. So it's like, we're all still really good friends, but we're still going to do separate things and still going to do together things. Kind of like, I don't know who. Who does that? Starship? (laughs) (laughs) Jefferson Starship? (laughs) Nice. What about you, Rod? I mean, are you planning on putting anything else out on your own? Well, the last, let's see, the last um, CD... Last solo CD came out two years ago. Um, I started recording a few weeks ago, and uh, I'm not sure when I'll be finished, but uh, <laughs> it's looking good. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be the best record. Everybody always says that, don't they? You know, <laughs> you, yeah, I guess because you hope. You know, you work. You work hard. Well, it's cool that you guys live in Nashville because you guys can have pretty much anybody you want on your albums, pretty much. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Fun, I just found yeah. out that too living there. I was just. Thinking to yeah. myself. Well, because I, I noticed, like, in this format, you either... Jack White will play with me. <laughs> <laughs> Who will? No, I was going to ask oh. if he would. <laughs> <Didn't laughs> well, well, I was going to say, that that's what's cool about Nashville and Austin. It's like, that's where everybody lives, so that's where pretty much where everybody records their albums. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty neat. I mean, you get this rarities, like the green cards out of, like, Australia and Britain and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, one of them went to school with me at South Plains. Well, not with me. We went to the same South Plains Music College. Kim oh, wow. went to school there, and uh, another... Australian guy, Jed Hughes, went to school out there. So oh, wow. Some people, yeah. So I met them there, and then they had already moved to Nashville before yeah. I got there. So. Yeah. Now, is there a difference between, like, playing in Nashville and playing, like, everywhere else? Because I know Nashville, you got all the cool clubs, and everybody's performing on any given night. Do you have that same energy in Nashville that you do, say, in Florida or, say, a Georgia or an Alabama or something like I that? I say there's the same energy. The turnout's not as great in Nashville just because there's so much to see and so much to do. Yeah, because, I, I, man, that's why I can't move to Nashville. I would be out every single night watching you guys <laughs> play that tour. You know, yeah, yeah. Just so many cool clubs. That's why I, yeah. that's why I love the conference because I basically just cram four or a year's worth of partying in a four days. There you go. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah. That's a lot of partying. <laughs> I stay up all that long. Man, a chip, chicken and waffles party that closes it out. <laughs> That's so cool. Chicken and waffles. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll know. Well, no, you're leaving. You said when? Um, Sunday. 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 All right. Cool. You'll be able to hang out. Yeah, next. exactly. Cool. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more Amanda Shires and Rob Picot. Is that how I say it? Picot. Picot. See, I've been calling you Picot. That's all right. Picot. Rod Picot. <laughs> Rob, next. And we're down home cooking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Be right back when I grab some more batteries. Okay. He gets all kinds of pronunciations on his last name. I bet. Hello there, people. <laughs> all right. Now, is there anything you guys want to chat about? Oh, no, this is great. I mean, I'm this sorry if I'm all scattered. It. Oh, no, it's all right. I usually am. <laughs> I appreciate it. I know it's a little bit out of the way. But we are 100,000 watts, so all of Southwest Florida, here you are. <laughs> 100,000 watts? That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I got uh, lucky there. Hurricane Charlie. <laughs> all right. Y'all, when you're ready. Give me one second. Oh, you want to take a break? <laughs> oh, no, I'm doing whatever. All right. I do what I'm told. 